very good evening to one and all our esteemed guests are here in the webinar now they are connected virtually we are really thankful to all the esteemed guests now i request all our members and participants through zoom and youtube to stand for the honor of guest program sawdhan salut जैसे थे अगेन आई रिक्वेस्ट टू स्टैंड फॉर बी एस जी प्रेयर प्रोग्राम सावधान प्रार्थना शुरू everybody to be seated peace cannot be kept by force it cannot be achieved without understanding peace is a liberty in tranquility a happy evening to all our friends here for the observation of international day of peace 2023 national level very good evening to one and all present here this is shubham singh from eastern railway and along with i have abhinaya from tamil nadu as your host for the first day of the 3 days national level webinar to observe international day of peace 2023 as we begin the program i am honored to invite on screen one of the most dynamic leader of the bharat scouts and guides shri ss ray sir deputy director of scouts leader training to please deliver the welcome address and the keynote welcome sir So please unmute. Good afternoon. I am audible. Yes, sir. Okay, fine. Uh, good afternoon again. Welcome at the virtual celebration of International Peace Day. Each year, the International Day of Peace is observed around the world on. 21st September the UN <clears throat> general assembly has declared this as a day devoted to strengthening the ideas of peace through observing 24 hours of non violence and cease fire the date initially initially chosen was a regular opening day of annual session of the general assembly the third tuesday of september that is the today but in the year 2001 this was changed the current annual uh, celebration on 21st september the theme of this year youth event action for peace our ambition for the global goals is a call to action that recognize the urgent need of individual and collective responsibility to foster peace we <clears throat> the bharat scouts and guides are associated with the peace movement 
since long. The United Nations conferred the Peace Messenger Award to the Bharat Scouts and Guides in understanding and harmony in the year 1986-87. Since long or prior to that, we are associated with the peace movement. Uh, on this occasion, I welcome Mr. Madhusudan Awala, Additional International Commissioner of Bharat Scouts and Guides, present here as a guest and a resource speaker. Mr. Awala is a prominent face of Bharat Scouts and Guides at international level. He is also OZOM consultant. There are very few Indian got the opportunity to hold this high office, this designation. He is among one of them. I <clears throat> extend a hearty welcome to uh, Dr. Rajkumar Kaushik, Director Bharat Scouts and Guides and a change maker of Bharat Scouts and Guides. I welcome you, sir. I also welcome the Joint Director Scouts Program Training, Joint Director Guides Program and Training, Deputy Directors, Assistant Directors, all my colleagues at NHQ, NTC, NYC, NAI, etc. I take this opportunity to welcome all the MOP heroes who are here, all the messenger of peace are here with us in this virtual celebration. Let's, the celebration is a very meaningful one. Let's, the celebration have an impact in the life of scouts and guides in the life of all members of this great movement. With this hope, once again, I welcome all who are joining us online, who are viewing in this program at YouTube or different channel, or who are helping us behind the curtain to make this virtual celebration Thank you so much, sir, for your heartfelt welcoming of all the dignitaries over here. So, your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, and do more, become more. You are a leader, and thank you. And welcome you all yeah. once again. Thank you, sir. Thank you for your heartfelt welcoming. Your actions inspire others to dream more, learn more, do more, and become more. You are a leader, and now. I am privileged in welcoming our guest, Dr. Rajkumar Kaushik, sir, director of the SC, to cordially inaugurate and lighten the lamp ritually and also to bless us a gathering. Welcome you, sir. One second, we welcome our director, sir, to shower his blessings for gathering. Welcome, you, sir. Thank you, Avanya. Uh, so, all the officials, including our additional international commissioner, Madhu, and uh, all the leaders, rovers, rangers, and the other participants. So I don't want to say the Happy International Day of Peace because it is on 21st. 
but i must say that uh, i must congratulate uh, the team of financial professionals as well as the volunteers who have taken initiative to have uh, this uh, celebration on virtual platform also other than the uh, physical so because i am busy actually now the discussion is going on with the ministry in regard to the rashtrapati award so i will not be able to continue in uh, and i cannot spend more time so once again i wish and uh, i innovate uh, this celebration so once again best of luck uh, for this grand success of this and i hope uh, as you, mr madhu is also here and he is going to give a session especially on sdg today so uh, thank you madhu for sparing your time uh, once again congratulations to my team as well as to all the participants for uh, who are attending this webinar thank you and bye bye thank you sir thank you so much for your golden words your words are a true source of inspiration for all of us sustainable development is the development that meets the needs of the present without compromising the ability of future generations to meet their own needs it is my humble privilege to invite the youth icon of bharat scouting guides india the international figure of wozam a man who is a great source of inspiration for millions of young minds Shri Madhusudan Awala Sir, Additional International Commissioner for Scouts, Bharat Scouts and Guides India, and Bosom Consultant, who is our very esteemed resource speaker for today, who will be delivering a session on impact of scouts and guides and sustainable development goals. Welcome, sir. Uh, thank you very much, everybody. A very good evening to one and all who are present here. to kick start the international day of peace celebrations uh first of all let me also congratulate uh, everybody at the national headquarters and the team messengers of peace india for putting all these things together so that we can make this year's international day of peace celebrations a meaningful one uh without much of ado let us uh, dive into the session and learn more about how we as scouts we as guides can make an impact on the community on the society so that we can contribute back to the world back to mother earth and create a better world that is what we will uh, try to do in the next uh, 60 minutes of time if everybody joins together you will interact so we will have a fruitful evening Uh, let me ask you how many of you are messengers of peace you can uh, put it in the chat and we'll see how many of you are messengers of peace today i cannot see anybody replying is the chat enabled disabled Okay, there it comes. Uh, wonderful, great, 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 great. So that tells us that each one of you are present on planet Earth. You are contributing to create a better world, and if we are messengers of peace. that means to tell that we are contributing back possible all these days anybody can you tell the name of the book that inspired this many young people today on this globe anybody can answer yes there comes one answer shubham says scouting for boys okay that's wonderful great so scouting for boys is the book that made scouting possible 
and which is keeping on the young people to continue till date. When you look at it, scouting for boys is one of the most elaborated and sustained educational tool in this world. And scouting and scouts are not far away from sustainable development goals. When we talk about sustainable development goals, we as scouts, we are always for the SDGs. Scouts stand for sustainable development goal. And when we say we as scout start for sustainable development goals, we all know that there are 17 sustainable development goals. When we say we have the 17 sustainable development goal as scouting, we fall directly into SDG number four, which is quality education. Each one of us being in the movement itself, we are contributing to SDG number four. When we look back into scouting, when Lord Baden Powell started this movement for the young people, the first experimental camp contributed to quality education. It contributed to peace, justice, and strong institutions. It contributed to good health and well being, and it contributed to sustainable cities and community. Why I will say that these are the four sustainable development goals which Baden Powell brought in that day. The impact of that experimental camp is what we can see today, where we have scouting across the globe. We might have only 174 recognized national scout organization. However, scouts are everywhere, though they are affiliated to WASM, non-affiliated to WASM. But the impact that was created way back more than uh, 10 decades ago is still relevant. That is something each one of us have to understand and each one of us to look through. Let us see how this is impacting the community, how this is impacting the globe across. There are more than 57 million scouts in this world today. And while I'm speaking, we have crossed 65 million. The My slide deck is just a month old. And in the last one month, we have added another few hundreds of millions of scouts into the fold who are making this largest youth movement to contribute to the sustainable development goal. When we say that we have to contribute to sustainable development goal, one thing we need to understand is, do we have the sustainable education? When we say, do we have a sustainable education? It is very important. We all have learned, let us do keep our place clean. And our Prime Minister Narendra Modi has given a call for Swachha Bharat Abhyan. Friends, touch your heart and tell how many of you are really following Swachha Bharat. Just give a 30 second thought to yourself. Sustainable education is not that we do something one day and forget it for the next day. Normally, we tell that we need to dispose the garbage in the right way. But what we do in the name of doing cleaning or swachh bharat or maintaining the hygiene, we take all the trash from our house in front of our house and we transfer it to the neighbor's house. And we tell that our surroundings is clean. They are very neat. And only when we have, we get a piece of chocolate, we eat the chocolate and many times the wrapper does not go to the dustbin or does not go to the trash. It goes on the ground. If you are crossing a road, walking on the street, how many of us dare to have the same trash put in the dustbin? Very recently, we can look at it, the mask. Due to COVID-19, everybody use the mask to protect yourself. 
so that you are safe from uh, coronavirus. But how did we dispose the mask? Initially, we all were very scared. Okay, something might happen. We used to very carefully remove our mask. We don't even touch our mask. We go put it in a nice place. As the pandemic started to grow, more number of masks, you can see everywhere on the streets, somebody wearing the mask and throwing it. These days, we wear the mask, we leave it on the table, we forget our mask also. Is that happening or not? Yes, people are nodding your head. Some people are smiling. Yeah, that's cool. I can know that uh, where we are erring. See, that is what is very important. Sustainable education is what we try to do in scouting. And 57 young people are contributing to the sustainable development goals. Maybe after this um, session, after this webinar, you would want to have more details about why as scouts, we are promoting or we are contributing SDGs. We have a couple of documents. How the young people, that is you, are discovering sustainable development goals and how it is aligned to the youth program and how the National Scout Organization can create a community action. I invite you all to Treehouse. Treehouse is a new platform on scout.org to share the resources, to share what we are doing the best and how we can engage our young people. So that is what will happen on the Treehouse and you'll find quite a lot of resources. The impact as scouts, what we are doing is, scouts for SDGs as a combined mission, as a combined goal would contribute for the sustainable education, rather sustainable development education, so that we can see quite a lot of community development actions, community development services through the actions of our young people. Very recently, we had floods in many parts of the country, and that is where you can see how our scouts responded. You can see our scouts carrying the relief material with their knee-high water level, still they are contributing. Very simple and recent example, if I have to quote, uh, our national headquarters was under floods very recently, less than two months back. And we being in the national capital, we were not getting the resources that we need to get. That is when our scouts responded. The scouts, the rovers around the national headquarters after day one, day two, day three, they were coming down to national headquarters trying to provide relief materials to the people stranded in the national headquarters building. See, this is one small example I'm quoting, but imagine the amount of work our young people are doing across the globe. When you look at Kerala, there are rovers working. When you look at uh, Maharashtra, we can find our people working. When we come towards Odisha, we can find the length and breadth of the kind of state doing one or the other sustainable development goals, which they have allocated to one of their districts. When we come into our Northeast region, uh, which is very much proactively contributing to the sustainable development through their actions especially with disaster relief. So what we need to understand here is whatever you are learning, that learning has to be implemented continuously. You don't have to implement it one day and then you forget. Let us do a small exercise. Uh, what I will ask you to do now is wherever you are sitting, no problem. Wherever you are sitting from there, you can just uh, get up and look around. When you look around, if you find any one single use plastic, you bring it and show it on the screen. Let us see what is the single use plastic you will find around you. Your time starts now. You can move. I'm seeing your screen. You can move. Yes, people are looking here and there. Somebody is looking at their ID card. Okay. 
What else? What else can you find? 30 seconds for you to bring it back. Somebody is driving in the car and looking here and there. Somebody got one uh, polythene bag. Somebody got a cup, pants. Very good. Cups and tons are coming. Uh -huh. Our brand ambassador is showing some paper. Okay. Yes, quite a lot of things. Now tell me, friends, when I'm seeing most of you here holding all these single-use plastic, I have seen you even during our plastic tide turner campaign. And most of you have become champions of plastic tide turners. Most of you are BSD heroes of plastic tide turners. But still you are using the single-use plastic. Do you think you have got sustainable education? Or should we call you that you are uh, illiterates of sustainable learning? We would not tell that you are illiterate of education, but you are illiterate of sustainable learning. Friends, this is very simple example for us to take. There might be numerous projects that our uh, Prime Minister will bring, uh, that our Chief Ministers in our state bring, or the member of legislative assemblies of our locality bring, or even our presidents of the local panchayats bring. But if we don't follow it properly, that is when there will be problem. Today we can see water comes in the bottle, right? And most of us, we don't trust the water which we get when we go around and we always buy water. How many of you buy water when you go outside? Raise your hands. Let me see you. How many of you buy mineral water when you go outside? Tirtha Raj buys, Amit Kumar buys. Arsh Dikshit buys, Shravan Kumar buys, many of you buy water, right? Why you water, buy water? Because you don't trust the water you find. Friends, remember, maybe after 10 years or 15 years, you will be forced to carry a bottle of oxygen along with you. Why you will be forced to carry a bottle of oxygen? The places where you go, you might not get oxygen to breathe. So when you feel that there is no oxygen to breathe, you have to take out your oxygen from your pocket and put it in your nose. So you get your oxygen. He's ready. He's having his yellow color bottle and showing that, sir, I'll feel oxygen in this bottle. Good current. You have got a steel bottle and that is sustainable. That is wonderful. These are examples what you all uh, provide. And uh, let us continue with it. This is simple examples what I'm quoting in our daily life where we are missing out on the sustainable education. The theory of this change is we need to inspire. This is one of the most key aspects. As young people, as leaders, your job, your role is that you need to inspire as many young people as possible as many other leaders as possible. There is a saying, catch them young. Have you heard it? You need to catch people young so that you can change their behavior right from the beginning. They say when there is a sapling, when a small plant, you want to bend its uh, stem and make it grow here and there like this, you can do it. But when it becomes a big tree and then you want to bend the branches, you cannot bend it. Do you agree to this? Yes or no? Yes, right? Yes. Similarly, our role as leaders and our role as young people is to educate the more younger people whom we find to be sustainable. We need to inspire them. We need to tell them to be the change. Then we need to enable them. When we talk about enabling, the Bharat Scouts and Guides provides a large platform so that our Scouts do the impact on the community. Our Guides make an impact in the society they are living with. So we need to enable them with a lot of our projects and then we need to deliver. So this is the complete cycle of the change theory. 
once we deliver our responsibility does not end there again we need to inspire more people see this is uh, very much important for us to have a sustainable education so you all need to follow the theory of change and be the ambassadors of this change what we are talking about as we talk about somebody might also ask when we deliver this kind of a change what is there in for us there is a lot of things in for you. Number one thing for you is the peace of mind, what you get. We are talking about the International Day of Peace and we are not at peace. Then what is the point? So first thing you get, you get a peace. Second thing, you get positive credits for yourself. The third thing what you get is whatever enablement our National Association is providing. It can be your progressive awards like Pratham Sopan, Vitya Sopan, Trithya Sopan, Nippon, Chaturta Charan, Golden Arrow, Rajya Puruskar Award. All these places, we have enabled you to involve with the community. Wherever, whenever you get involved, then you get recognized. Apart from that, we have more enablers for, with us. We have something called as Outstanding Scout Award. The Bharat Scouts and Guides Outstanding Scout Award. Friends, we are making so much of impact around the globe, but we are not projecting it. Uh, when we declared our first Outstanding Scout Award for Bharat Scouts and Guides, we didn't get anybody whom we can award because they didn't apply. But on the ground, on the field, in the troops, in the companies, there are hundreds of young people who are creating the impact of sustainable development, but it is not being projected. It is not being posted. It is not being reported. So this, this is what we all need. And you, you can look forward to the third outstanding Scout Guide Award of Bharat Scouts and Guides. The circulars will be rolled out very shortly so that you can be recognized. Similarly, our next edition of Messengers of Peace Star Awards will be there. Last year, we had more than 100 people who got this honor. This year, again, we come with a new edition of it, and it will be rolled out in the next couple of days. These are the enables what we have, but only thing we need from you is you need to deliver. You need to inspire as many young people as possible. Once you deliver these things, then what we look into is how things change. You'll have to live with the purpose of working through the community actions. When the community development happens through our young people, then we are contributing to this beautiful color ring. You can see there are so many different colors on this ring. So there's nothing but we make people's life colorful. We add some color to the life of people. That is why community development actions to the young people will contribute towards the sustainable development goals. Then we have the stakeholders. I will not run you through that. But the most important thing is we work with the community. We work with our youth program so that we demonstrate more actions we involve with plenty of partners to create a better world. If you have to create a better world, you should be a better you. When you become a better you, then you can create a better world. How many of you are better than yourself? You can raise your hands, don't worry. If you tell I'm not better, we will not punish you. I am not smiling. How many of you are better than you? Okay, you are raising your hands. I can see 34 hands. Now it became 46 hands out of 198 people. Now we get one more hand. We have 94 hands, which is going up. You all feel that you are a better version of yourself. That's wonderful. Congratulations to you. Because when you take the best out of you, when you think you are a better version of yourself, then definitely you are contributing to the sustainable development. You are making your parents 
proud and you have done the job for which the God has sent you on the planet Earth. So all the better use, let us look forward and look at how we can do the sustainable development goal impact and contribution through the Scouts for SDG initiative. The entire Better World framework of the WASM, which were called as the WASM initiatives, has been renamed as Scouts for SDG initiative. Under the Scouts for SDG initiative, we have four verticals where you can contribute and create an impact on the society. The first vertical is environment and sustainability. This is the focal area of education. We need to educate each one of us on sustainability and environment, which is the key. Next is peace and community engagement. Peace within ourselves. Peace begins from us and peace across the globe. You could have heard in the keynote address by Mr. S.S. Ray, he was telling 24 hours during the International Day of Peace, there will be no violence and ceasefire. We all have to think, my dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, is 24 hours of peace sufficient for the world? Is 24 hours of peace sufficient for you? Just think on it. No, right? So when you talk about peace and community engagement, we need to go far more beyond than those 24 hours. Maybe if they only tell that we'll have seven rebirths, if there is 24 rebirths for us, in all the 24 rebirths, we should be a crusader of peace. We should be an agent of sustainability. So that is very much important and key for us. The third aspect is skills for life. You know how you are creating an impact with skills for life. Our proficiency bad system. We have a wonderful bad system and our proficiency bad system brings in proficiency. It inculcates various skills. You can think today there might be a lot of countries, a lot of governments talking about inculcating skill training. But Lord Baden Powell, more than 110 years back, started and implemented the skill training among our young people, brought in skill training for all our people across the globe. So that is the initiative of Skills for Life. And the final uh, educational focal area for sustainable development goals and our scouts making impact there is good health and well-being. Good health and well-being is an action where we need to take care of ourselves. Many a times you feel, you feel that you look stressed. That is not a good sign. As young people, you should never get stressed. And at the same time, we all have to be aware of what is the personal safety we need to take care in terms of your mental health, in terms of your physical health, and in terms of our sexual and reproductive health. All these aspects put together comes under the verticular of good health and well-being. Does any of these sound familiar? Are you working on these activities? If you're working on these activities, you can raise your hand. I know that you'll not be able to chat as the chat function is disabled. So our interaction becomes less. However, you can respond to me telling by raising your hands or by making any kind of a sign, telling that you are familiar with these things. Wow, many people are familiar with all these things. Let us see then how you are familiar with these things. When we look at the familiarity, the new names of the WASM initiatives and the WASM programs are like this. The first one is Earth Tribe. When we talk about environment and sustainability, we talk about Earth Tribe. And the Earth Tribe has three facets. The three facets are 
the champions of earth scouts go solar and plastic titans and most of you my friends you are very much sustainable with that you are very much aware of these programs when we look at these programs i was very much inspired with couple of scout groups and couple of districts when they uh, called me and said sir this year we are not going to do tree planting i said why no sir we will not do tree planting what are you going to do we are going to visit that uh, saplings which we planted last year and before last year i said what is this what initiative you are doing tell me no sir always we do tree planting during vanam utsava or during international day of peace we always do tree planting but next year we don't know where the tree is we forget it we will not go and see if it is surviving or not surviving so this uh, few hundreds of our scouts they said they will go back and find the plant where they planted if it is there or not and they will talk to the plant hi plant how are you i planted you last year have you grown up for one year do you need kit kat do you need oreo do you need lays or do you do doritos you know all these things we all eat but will you give them to the plant so go talk to the plant ensure that you make a nice uh, place you put some manure to it and also put some water to it and definitely your plant will feel good you might think the plant might not hear you but definitely when you show that care when you show that love towards the plant it will work and i was very happy when they said that we will not do tree planting because instead of planting 10 trees and not taking care of and the tree getting died you plant one tree and take care of it for 10 years then rest of the life you don't have to take care of the tree it will take care of you in a different different ways so friends this is something we all have to learn when we talk about environment and sustainability this is very important how many of you have planted trees so far you would have planted at least one tree in your leaf in your life in so many days but how many of you have gone back and seen the tree which i planted 5 years back is it alive or not okay we are, i see one hand coming up anima madam is raising the hand rahul is raising the hand he is telling he is going and talking with the tree and then divansh is doing it sahaj is doing jayshree madam is doing it rithik ishant karan wow many people are there doing it this is wonderful okay but i don't see more than 50% or 25% of the people here doing maybe you didn't understand me or you have not been but i like your honesty that is very very key for us so there's a lot of things what you can talk about sustainable education and talking to people this is the impact what you create the next focal area of education is peace and community engagement we are doing this through our flagship program of messengers of peace with the flagship program of messengers of peace we are bringing in this focal area of sustainable education which can create a huge impact on our young people that is through intergenerational dialogue dialogue for peace and inter religious dialogue so when we do all these activities Uh, we our own uh, in bharat scouts and guides we are having a uh, dialogue for peace training in the month of december this will happen in uh, state training center uh, ganga nagar of west bengal if anybody are interested watch out for the circular we will uh, release a circular very shortly and you can attend this dialogue for peace training why i say dialogue for peace is very important because this is something what we have to understand everybody has the habit of arguing with people is there anybody here who does not argue everybody put your hands down now i can see all the hands are up if you tell that you have a habit of arguing then it's a uh, not a good sign for you anybody who does not have the habit of arguing everybody argues even i also argue how many of you had a argument or a disagreement within your house in the last 24 hours 
Yeah, few of you, yes. Most of us young people, we always have an argument with our parents or with our well-wishers at home when we go to camp. They will tell, don't go to camp and we will tell them, no, no, I should go to the camp and we will have a fight. Right? And most of you young people, you fight with your parents for food. Mother gives you some uh, lunch box and you don't like it. In the evening, you bring by the lunch box as it is without emptying it. No, mother, I don't like this food. We have an argument there. This is what we will try to learn and train ourselves not to have an argument. Because when we have an argument, not only the opposite person is in stress, but we are also are in stress. How can we develop the habit? How can we develop the attitude? How can we develop the resilience and competencies of having a dialogue with people? It's very important. Either I agree, I don't agree. That is not important. But the person opposite side is important. We need to have a dialogue. We need to understand their thoughts, their side of the story as well. So that's how we can make a better uh, peace structure within ourselves. And we also can be in peace. Let us be in a great peace. That is what this verticular actually does for you. And the next verticular, what we talk is about, we talk about the skills for life. This is very much uh, important for each one of us in this growing world. There are different kinds of skills that is needed and scouting is being relevant. We are bringing in interpersonal skills, leadership skills, literacy. When we talk about literacy, it is not about reading and writing. Literacy in this different life, different parts of our life, we have to bring in literacy. And then entrepreneurship and STEAM or STEM, however you can call science, technology, engineering, arts, and mathematics. If you remove A and call it as STEM, scouting with STEM, that deletes arts and keeps mathematics there. So these are the new initiatives we are coming with. We have been very much successful in India with scouting with STEM and our scouts, guides, rovers, rangers have created a great impact. And when we talk about STEM today, India is very proud of landing on the moon. You all know that, right? There's a person who landed in the moon and we should be very, very happy to take that name because the person whoever landed on the moon, it can be the lander or the thing, but the vehicle is always called as rover. It, is, it has got a prefix rover. The rover is roaming on the moon. That is what they tell. See how close we are. We have rovers and every rover should feel proud that you are on the moon. Do you feel proud? See, scouting is always here and there and we get connected so quickly, so fastly and we connected in an appropriate way. That is also very, very important. We connecting in a very appropriate way. And the last focal area of education comes as the good health and well-being. When we talk about the good health and well-being, we talk about varied life skills. The varied life skills, what we have is very, very important. In this varied life skills, what happens is we always train to forget what we are following. We miss out on the healthy lifestyle. Many of us skip on the breakfast. We don't have breakfast. We have a food in abnormal times. And we can see today a lot of our young people suffering from many things due to the not having a healthy lifestyle. Many of us are not having the personal safety. Mental issues are there. We have student counselors in every schools, every colleges. Why are our young people going to these student counselors? What is the problem they are having? And it all boils down to various things. And our young people don't have the right sexual and reproductive health knowledge. They get into toxic relationships. And the toxic relationships gives them those mental uh, stress and they will have to go for counseling. So we are coming out with a series of activities, series of program, which will dive you through all these things and bring you out of these things and keep you educated, rather educated. So these are the lot of uh, 
focal areas of sustainable education and how scouts can impact and contribute towards the sustainable development goal what we are talking about how are we trying to do this the only thing what we can do is we can develop the competencies for you to do the sustainable development we cannot give you programs many people call and ask you write emails to national headquarters sir what activity i should do for zero hunger what activity i should do for life below water what activity i should do for life on land see we cannot give you activities friends listen sustainable development education what scouting is doing is all about developing competencies within you so that you can use that wherever you need and whatever actions you take you are contributing to a specific sustainable development goal and you can measure what you are contributing how you are contributing on our sdg hub i will take you through the sdg hub in the next few minutes so that you will be able to see what this sdg hub looks like okay until now any questions do you have any questions until now no questions okay give me a minute my computer is freezing okay if there are no questions now i would like to give you one small challenge and this challenge is we are scouts and as scouts we all have a favorite scouting uh, memorable we can tell or a scouting item we can tell okay so look around you or if you are wearing that also it's fine i want to see what is your favorite scouting item bring it and show it to me on the screen i would like to see what is your favorite scouting item it can be a badge it can be a scarf it can be a t-shirt it can be anything related to scouting you can bring it and show it to me go search if you want to search in your house or you are sitting in your office you search in your office and bring that one favorite thing of scouting you have with you or favorite possession of scouting you have with you bring it i'll give you 2 minutes time 60 seconds to do that Scout keychain that looks wonderful. Okay, there is a APR badge and two diamond badge. Okay, messengers of peace scarf. Interesting. It is very very interesting to see that somebody has a collection of badges. Wow, they look like jamboree badges. Oh yes, is somebody is having a Philippine ogle, carabao. Wow wow. What else? What else is coming? What else is coming through? Uh, there is somebody showing the scout sign that's wonderful somebody showing me a badge tricolor badge two three scarves i can see scarf somebody showing me beret cap wow you like the beret cap wonderful great so friends you always have this uh, what you call collection of scouting items and we receive these things we get crazy and we collect a lot of things we also go online and we buy this badges ogles scarves stickers lot of things right now scouts scout.org is bringing to you digital badges i know most of you would have got this digital badges during your jota joti whenever we have the jota joti if you register on uh, joti.org and you go get into the virtual campsite finish these activities you get a lot of digital badges correct similarly when you contribute towards sustainable development goals the sdg hubs will give you digital badges so you may collect it and flash it into your 
social medias, you can flash it into your snaps, you can flash it into your instas, all kind of places where you are present. I know most of you have a fake name there. This is what I want you all to delete and put your real name and do working there. That is what is called a sustainable education. So remove all your fake names, have your real name and start projecting yourself. This is where the dialogue of the peace comes. This is where the transparency between you and your parents come. So these all things should happen. And we give you the SDG hub. Now I will uh, show you how this SDG hub will look like. Give me a minute. Yes, here is the SDG hub. So Scouts for SDG Hub is a place for all our young people to be present there. We are present on every kind of social media, but we can also share our scouting stories on this place where you can get good recognition. And the master of this place and the custodian of Scouts for SDG Hub in India is Mr. Amar B. Chetri. I think most of you know him, right? is very popular known as Mr. ABC, Amar B. Chetri. He is the custodian of this SDG hub. And what are we trying to do on the SDG hub? In the next three days or in the last six months, you have done a lot of community service programs, lot of actions, lot of service activities. Bring everything on the sdgs.scout.org so you can upload your services you can upload your activities you can upload your stories either you can put it as a service project or you can put it there as a activity as a status as a blog you can put it in there this is one part this is what we all knew all these days do the good work and put it on scout.org do the good work, put it on Messengers of Peace. Do a good job, put it on SDG Hub. Yes, we are very good in it. We are pointers in it. When you do all these things, you get Messengers of Peace ring badge. All these things happen. But more than that, from this year, what is going to happen is you will be able to explore all the sustainable development goals. Each sustainable development goals, as you have the questions, what should I do for the sustainable development goal? So you have that answer in here. You can get that answer in here. So that is a wonderful method, mechanism. And you can post your blogs, whatever status you put on your Insta, whatever status you put on your um, Facebook or your snaps, you can bring the same thing and post it on the blog on scout.org individual stories. There's a very beautiful gamification that is available for you. You have a gamified experience. You finish one activity, you can go back and do one more activity. So already we have brought this in practice for you all and you can start using the new revamped SDG hub with a lot of gamified experience. So in this SDG hub, when we give you this gamified experience, many of you add a question. Sir, we have the problem of language. Humko bhasha ka dikkat hai. Kya hume a Rajasthani bhasha mein milega? Humko a Gujarati mein milega? Bengali mein milega? South Indians asking, will we get this in Malayalam? Will we get it in Kannada? Will we get it in Tamil? Will we get it in Telugu? Central part asking, can we get this in uh, Marathi? Or some people asking in different languages, can we get it in Assamese? Yes. Friends, this International Day of Peace, the WASM is giving you the revamped SDG hub. And this revamped SDG hub will have all these options for you. So with all these options, you are set to enjoy the new gamification of sustainable development goal and scout.org. Uh, let me share that, how it looks. This is the new gamification place for us. And when you scroll down, 
you will be able to see all the activities that you have. When you come down, you can go to, you should try. When you go on the challenges, you will be able to see the cool challenges that is there for you to earn these badges. These are all digital badges that is available for you. When you go here and when you select, it's not compulsory, this only you need to do. Wherever your passion lies, you want to do Plastic Titaners, Panda, Scouts Go Solar, or Dialogue for Peace, Interreligious Dialogue, or you want to do some other thing, you always can do it. For example, I click on Scouts Go Solar because I like these challenges. So what it does is, it will first tell me what all I can do here and what is the sustainable development goals that I am contributing. I can learn a lot of things here and I can click on take action. When I click on take action, I will have a lot of actions and activities to go through. And as it said, you can access this in different languages. To access this in different language, what you need to do is select the language. You get a lot of languages here which you can select. Now I will select uh, Hindi. Let me try with Hindi. There is Hindi. Now you can see the entire activities is translated to Hindi. Similarly, you want to translate to any other language, it is in, available in Konkani. All our friends in Goa, Maharashtra, you can do it in Konkani. And there is a lot of other languages. Odia is there for our people in uh, Odisha. You can translate and see this in Odisha. There is, it is in uh, Tamil. People who want to do it in Tamil, you have the, all the activities localized in the Tamil language. So with this, all these languages are available. We have Sanskrit, somebody want to do it in Sanskrit. All the language areas are covered. Only thing what you will have to do here is, you have to click on take action and you should have a account, username, password. And then you need to log into your account and do your sustainable development actions. Get your digital badges. So this is what we have to offer from the SDG Hub. And if you have further more questions, anything related to this, you can send an email to jds at bsgindia.org. I think our organizers will definitely share this email ID. Any questions related to SDG Hub, Messengers of Peace, you are free to write uh, to this email ID and uh, somebody of us will definitely get back to you on these things. And if you have any questions, right now I have another five minutes. I can just give five minutes for any questions if you have. Anil sir, you have any options for the questions or can I close it here? Uh, sir, option is there. Uh, so our MC is going to collect and also they can raise hand, then we can uh, access them to talk. If they raise hand, then we can uh, unmute, give the option to unmute. Yeah. Okay, anybody has a question, I'll take two or three questions and then we'll call it a day. Sahaj Mida. I can't hear you. Yeah, tell me. Sir, yesterday I was checking scout.org. Sir, I was finding that a tight tuners batch. So, sir, I have a, from where we should get that? Yes, sir. You don't get a physical batch. What you okay, get sir. is a digital batch. Okay. Okay, sir. Once you log in, you complete the tight turner activities there. You get a digital batch into your account only. You go to your profile. When you go to your profile, inside your profile, you will find your badges, okay? 
okay sir but uh, that uh, after completing the that uh, after that we will get only or after 24 hours after completing your activities and uploading that report okay sir thank you sir thank you anybody else have any questions please post your questions in your chat box Or anybody have any questions to ask to our resource person, you can raise your hands. Okay. I wish everybody uh, the best and you all should become the best messengers of peace and be a better version of yourself. As uh, we said, we will not be uh, peace messengers or messengers of peace only for 24 hours and we will be 24 by 7, 365 days, the messengers of peace. So you can see a broad smile on Roshan Panda's face. He's a 24 hour seven messengers of peace. Similarly to uh, what Rahul Rumka is smiling. He's also a 24 hour seven messengers of peace. And we have many people. Shubham is smiling, many are there. So let us do it and uh, let us raise the flag of Bharat Kauchanga. It's very high in many places. Friends and young people, I call you to challenge. I'm Challenge you all. Who wants to be the outstanding scout and guide of this year? It's a challenge. Okay, I am throwing this challenge to you. We will not come and just garland you or honor you. Oh, you are the best scout. No, but you should apply for it. Always look into the BSD website circulars. The third outstanding scout guide award is calling you. Second thing, we are coming out with the next version of BSG Messengers of Peace stars in different categories. One category is the state association. One more category is for the adult leaders who are the inspirers and the real heroes, our Messengers of Peace stars. This is the second one. And the third one, the global Messengers of Peace hero will be called very shortly. I call the attention of all the young people to do this. We are being very transparent and we are giving opportunities across so that we need our young people to come up and do things. With this, I close my uh, talk here. And also, I would want to give you one word of caution and one piece of advice. When you are working on social media, there is a lot of unofficial, risky activities that is coming on the social media sites. We at Bharat Scouts and Guides, we are recommending you, we are suggesting you, and we are informing you that please attend the activities which are circulated by only Bharat Scouts and Guides. Many people will send you a lot of invitations, messages for other activities which are illegal. So I am telling you that keep safe online. Thank you, one and all. Thank you. Teaching is a noble profession and that shapes the character, caliber and future of an individual. I'm very privileged in thanking our very talented and experienced research person, Mr. Madhusudan A. Additional International Commissioner Scouts, DSG India and Ocean Consultants for enriching us on the impact of Scouts and Guides on SDGs. And it was very, very much enriching for us, sir. Thank you so much. Subham, are you there? Subham, don't you feel you are missing something? Yes, first of all, we miss your voice, Subham. Are you there? So there might be some technical issues. So I guess that we are missing out something here. We have learned so much and so many things. And here we are going to have some games for you all. So until our Shivam gets ready over there. Yes, Abhinay, it's yeah. fine. Thank you so much, uh, IT team, for unmuting. So uh, now the time is over. And I hope all the participants are ready to have an interactive quiz session. So I'll be sharing my screen.
Is my screen visible? I need a thumbs up from everyone. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much. So the screen is visible. As you all know that uh, like every year, we have a quiz session. So this year also, we have prepared a quiz session on Slido. I request all the participants to join in Slido.com and use the code SDG1. The quiz is activated. I request all the participants to go to Slido.com. Yes, we have Mr. Rupendra Mohan Sarkarji joining as the first participant. I request all the participants to join. Shalini Jain ma'am has joined with us. Mr. Rithik Sharma has joined. Please join using your name. Mr. Rahul Rungta has joined. I request all the participants to join in this interactive quiz session as soon as possible. If you are facing any problem, just go to Google and type slido.com. As you enter the hyperlink, you will be asked to use a code. And there you have to mention SDG1. As you mention SDG1, you will be able to join in the quiz. And we have a lot of people joining in this quiz. We'll be waiting for a couple of minutes for everyone to join. We have 24 participants. 25, it's increasing. We have 30 now, 35, let's hit a century. We have 41 and I can see so many young people who are there present in the meeting, joining in the quiz. We have 43, 45, 46, it's increasing. We'll wait for a couple of minutes more for all the participants to join. We have 52 right now. It's increasing. If you are facing any kind of problem, go to Google and type slido.com and then use the code SDG1 and join in the Slido live quiz. We have 58 members who have joined till now, 60, it's increasing. I'll wait for another one minute and then we'll start our quiz. We have 63 right now. It's 64. We have another 30 seconds left. And then we'll be starting today's quiz. We have 67, 68, 69, and we have 70. So with the permission of Anal sir, I am starting today's quiz and we have right now 72 participants joined with us. And the first question is, in 2015, United Nations came up with 17 SDGs to be achieved by DASH options, 2025, 2030, 2035, and 2040. 35 persons have answered 40, it's increasing. 44, 48, you have three more seconds, three, two, and one. Let's see, 
67 percent of you are saying that united nations came up with 17 sustainable development goals to be achieved by the year 2030 let's check the answer and the answer is 2030 let's move on to question number two and the question is the sustainable development goals comprises of how many goals and targets and the options are 17 goals and 132 targets 17 goals and 169 targets 15 goals and 123 targets 10 goals and 115 targets you have 10 seconds more to answer and we have 60 persons who have answered 63 now and 60 percent of you say that the sustainable there are 17 sustainable development goals with 169 targets let's check the correct answer and the correct answer is 17 goals and 169 targets let's move on to question number three Question number three, which of the following is not a SDG targeted to be achieved by 2030? Options are gender equality, climate action, zero hunger, and space research. So you have to answer which of the SDGs, which of the following is not a SDG that has to be achieved by 2030? You have five seconds more to answer. And we have more than 70% people answering the question. So 82% of you say space research. Let's check the correct answer. Yes, you are absolutely right. And the correct answer is space research. Let's move on to question number four. Question number four is what is the full form of SDG? And your time starts now. Sustainable Development Group, Sustained Development Group, Sustainable Development Goal, and none of the above. And I can see 63 persons have answered 73. Wow, that's great. You have 10 more seconds to answer this question. And we have 75 person, 76, 78 person who have answered this question. 99% of you say sustainable development goal. Let's check the correct answer. Yes, and the correct answer is sustainable development goal. Let's move on to question number five. Which of the following is related to SDG goal four? And the options are quality education, zero hunger, climate action, and no poverty. Which of the following is related to sustainable development goal number four? Quality education, zero hunger, climate action, and no poverty. And you have five seconds more to answer. Three, two, and one. Let's see how many of you have answered the correct one. Okay, so 70% of you say quality education. Let's check the correct answer. And the correct answer is quality education. Amazing. Let's have a look at the leaderboard right now. We have on top, Mr. Atharav. In the second position, we have Ronak Kumar Sharma. Third position, we have Raj Sharma. Fourth position, Mr. Dinesh. And fifth position, Dr. Jashinanda, we have another set of questions, another five set of questions with us. So till then, let's see what will be the position at the leaderboard. Let's move to question number six. And the question is, which sustainable development goal calls for eradicating poverty? Which sustainable development goal calls for eradicating poverty? And the options are no poverty, zero hunger, clean water and sanitation, and good health and well-being. You have 10 seconds to answer this question. Five, four, three, two, one. 
and your time ends here. So 56% of you say no poverty. Let's check the correct answer. It is no poverty, which is directly linked with the goal. Next, we have question number seven. Question number seven is, what does the term sustainable mean? And the options are the implementation of eco-friendly technologies. Second option, a balance between meeting today's needs with those of the future. Third, we have the use of alternative energies. And fourth, we have none of these. You have five seconds more to answer this question. And the time is up, 75 people have answered this question and 72% says that sustainable means a balance between meeting today's need with those of the future. Let's check the correct answer. And the correct answer is a balance between meeting today's needs with those of the future. Let's move to question number eight. Question number eight is at the central government level, which agency was assigned the role of overseeing the implementation of sustainable development goals in India? You have 20 seconds to answer this question. It is the options are the Energy Resource Institute, NIT Ayok, Center of Environmental and Sustainable Development India, and Prime Minister Office. You have three seconds more to answer this question. And the time is up. 74% says Center of Environmental and Sustainable Development India, CESDI. Let's check the correct answer. The correct answer is NITIO. Let's move on to question number nine. Question number nine is, why is the education for sustainable development relevant? And the options are, it enhances career prospects. It promotes better understanding about the environment. It empowers individuals to reflect on their own actions. And we have none of the above. So 55 have answered. 59, it's increasing. 67 of you have already answered. And the time was, is up. 75 of you have answered. And 48% say that Education for sustainable development is relevant as it empowers individuals to reflect on their own actions. Let's check the correct answer. And the correct answer is it empowers individuals to reflect on their own actions. Let's check the leaderboard and the leaderboard has changed. Mr. Sunil Chaudhary from Haryana is on the top. Mr. Abhinesh Kumar from Southern Railway is second. Alvira Sheikh is third. Mr. Badnath Prashad is fourth. And Mr. Raj Sharma is fifth. And we have the last question of today's interactive quiz session. And the question is, which is the largest single renewable electricity source today, providing 16% of the world electricity? And the options are hydropower, wind power, solar power, and none of the above. Let's see. 63 of you have answered. 68 of you have answered. And you have five seconds more. Three, two, and one. So 70% of you say solar power and 22% of you say hydropower. Let's see the correct answer. And the correct answer is hydropower. And we have our leaderboard. NF Railway Bharat Scouts and Guides is on the first position. We have Sunil Chaudhary from Haryana in the second position. We have Alvira Sheikh in the third position. Mr. Abhinesh Kumar from Southern Railway in the fourth position. And Mr. Bajnath Prashad 
in the fifth position. So congratulations to all the winners. I hope you have enjoyed this interactive quiz session. So moving ahead with the program, I am very fortunate to invite on screen a man who knows the way, goes the way and shows the way. A leader who leads by example and shows an exemplary leadership. A man of repute, knowledge and wisdom, none other than Sri Amar B. Chetri sir, Joint Director of Scouts Program and Training, Bharat Scouts and Guides India, to please deliver the closing remarks. Welcome, sir. Please unmute, sir. Yeah, thank you, Amadabal. Yes, sir. Okay, very good evening to one and all. Uh, today's uh, resource speaker, our Honorable Additional International Commissioner Scout, um, a man of international figure. Uh, first of all, I would like uh, to uh, thank uh, Madhusar for uh, sparing his valuable time uh, in uh, leading uh, the first uh, session of this uh, series of webinar being organized to commemorate IDP uh, 23. Thank you, sir. I would like to compliment uh, the Messenger of Peace Team India for your excellent efforts uh, in uh, commemorating uh, this important day and uh, promoting uh, peace actions in the uh, community uh, through various innovative uh, programs. Uh, that you are uh, doing since uh, last uh, one month and uh, celebrating uh, IDP uh, 23. Uh, the grand celebration will be doing on 21st, as all of you are aware. Uh, thank you all, uh, Team MOP India. Congratulations, well done. And I would also like to compliment all the participants uh, for uh, uh, joining us. And I'm sure you will uh, join uh, tomorrow as well as the uh, day after tomorrow uh, for the uh, gala celebration. As uh, Madhusar has uh, uh, informed you about the dialogue for peace, uh, I would like to inform a uh, few important things uh, that the Bharat Scout and Guide is uh, proud to host uh, the APR online Scout Youth Forum uh, from 7 to 9th December 23. Uh, we will be uh, hosting this uh, online uh, youth Forum for Asia Pacific region for South Asia. And uh, today we have circulated the circular inviting uh, young people from 18 uh, to 26 years of age. If you are interested, uh, you can uh, submit your application duly recommended by the state association. And uh, we will interview uh, the deserving candidate uh, will be selected uh, to represent uh, India as a delegates in the forum. Uh, similarly, uh, India, Bharat Scout and Guide is hosting Asia Pacific Regional Dialogue for Peace uh, workshop uh, from 10 to 14 December uh, at uh, State Training Center, Ganganaga, West Bengal. Uh, we will be uh, circulating uh, the circular very shortly. And the young people interested uh, for this event uh, may also apply. And the third uh, important event is uh, we are having Indo-Bangladesh Friendship Camp uh, in October. Uh, India will be hosting the Friendship Camp and uh, we will be inviting our friends from Bangladesh uh, in Darjeeling. And uh, people, uh, young scouts and guides will participate uh, in from India will be taken them to Dhaka, Bangladesh, uh, sometimes in the end of October of 2023. Then uh, we have extended the deadline for the uh, Sri Lanka Scout Yamburi. The last date is 30th September. Uh, if, if any uh, young people are interested, uh, you can go through the circular and apply through your state association. We are also, we have already issued circular for Indian participants. 
Uh, we are also hosting the 25th International Adventure Program uh, that's scheduled from 2nd February uh, to 8th February 2024 in our Adventure Institute, Pachmari. Interested scout guides, robust rangers, and adult leaders uh, may uh, check the website, see the circular, and you can uh, uh, submit your application. Similarly, uh, we are also organizing national level coastal and desert trekking, desert trekking in Rajasthan and coastal trekking in Puducherry. Uh, you can keep your eye on the BAG website. Uh, circular uh, will be issued very uh, soon. So uh, this information I would like to pass on the young people, uh, the other leaders, and uh, I would like to compliment each one of you for taking uh, uh, this interest uh, to commemorate uh, International Day for Peace. We all are scouts. We are messengers of peace. Uh, let us uh, promote peace exchange in our community and uh, create a visibility of scouting and guiding and impact of this great organization uh, with messenger of peace actions. Uh, thank you all uh, for uh, inviting me and I'm sure uh, you have enjoyed the webinar on SDGs and SDG is very important uh, today. And I appeal all of you to please uh, submit your report uh, via sdg.scout.org so that your actions will be known by the globe. And uh, one day, surprisingly, you will be, uh, you know, uh, uh, you will be recognized by the World Organization of the Scout Movement. Thank you so much, and uh, happy uh, International Day of Peace to each one of you in advance. I am a scout, I am a messenger of peace. Thank you, sir. Thank you so much for your outreach program you have explained this, and also the contributing remarks. Thank you so much, sir. And now I would like to hand it over the screen to you. Stay in charge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, thank you, Abhinaya. And thank you, Subham. Both of you have done an awesome job. Congratulations. Uh, to all the participants, on September 21st, 2023, that is the final day of the webinar, I would like to inform you a Google form will be shared with all of you. So kindly share your feedback and report back to the national headquarters. My, my humble request to all the scouts and guides, rovers, rangers, other leaders who are present in this platform or YouTube platform, uh, please share with your UID, num UID number so that the participation certificate will be given to you. Uh, Non-scouts who are present here in the platform, uh, don't worry, we are thinking for you also. For all the non-scouts who actively participated all the three days webinar, can you share your feedback? But we cannot give you participation certificate, but we will surely give you appreciation certificate. Uh, as Mahadusa said, or share with us the impact of scouts and guides on SDGs, I understand and believe that all scouts and guides have the potential to positively contribute to the 17 Sustainable Development Goals. I hope you really enjoyed the session with Madhu, sir. So this is my humble request again to all of you. Tomorrow we'll be having a good session role of young people in climate change. So kindly join us again tomorrow for the second day webinar. Let me share with you the sequence of the program tomorrow. Uh, the platform will be open. Zoom platform will be open at 3.50 p.m. And then there will be arrival of guests, chief guests, and then grand salute BSG prayer. Welcome address and key, welcome address and keynotes will be given by Sir Arup Sarkar, Deputy Director, Scouts of Boy Program. And then lining of virtual lamb will be done by Dr. Prabhat Kumar, IAS retired, State Chief Commissioner, UP State PSG. After that, we have the very, very important session. That is the role of young people in climate change. My humble request again, please join again for tomorrow webinar. After that, like we had some fun today with Subham having quiz, 
tomorrow. So we'll be having the quiz. And we will also have a presentation of selected peace video clip, which are given to us by all the members of Bharat Kosam guys all over India. After that, there will be a closing remarks by Madam Darsana Pawaskar, Joint Director of Guides Program and Training, and followed by the word of thanks by Madam Surika Srivastava, Deputy Director of Guide Program, Girl Program. So gratitude can transform common days into thanksgiving, turn routine jobs into joy, and change ordinary opportunities into peace and blessings. Now I would like to call upon Madam Kumut Mehra, Deputy Director of Guides Leader Training, to kindly deliver the word of thanks. Over to you, Madam. Thank you, Aida. Am I audible? Yes, Madam. Thank you. Sustainable development is the peace policy of the world by Klaus Tower. Good evening, one and all who's present here. I feel highly privileged to propose the vote of thanks on this extremely beautiful occasion commemoration of International Day of Peace 2023. We have reached the end of the today webinar on SDG. First of all, I would like to extend my heartfelt thanks to Honorable Additional International Commissioner Scout, Bharat Scouts and Guide India, Vazam Consultate, Sri Madhu Sudan Awala, sir. On behalf of Bharat Scouts and Guide India and entire team of Bharat Scouts and Guide. Thank you very much, sir. Madhu Sudan, sir, who has joined us here today to share their invaluable inputs. Sir. Thank you, sir. Your word would really help in the future endeavors of our participants. I also thank to our most respected director, Bharat Scouts and Guide, inaugurate today webinar. And yes, wonderful speech. Thank you very much, sir, Director, sir, Rajkumar, sir. I extend my thanks to our respected Joint Director Scout Program and Training, NSO for coordinator for MOP, BSC India. Thank you, sir, for sharing information, important information, and your wonderful speech. Thank you very much, sir, for joining us today. I extend my thanks to Deputy Director, Scout Leader Training, Mr. S.S. Ray, sir. Welcome to the gathering. And yes, information about the peace. Thank you very much, sir. I would like to thank to Deputy Director, Girl Program, Surekha Srivastava, madam, who has joined today. Thank you, madam. I extend my thanks to all the deputy directors, assistant directors, staff of National Headquarter for joining today. And I thank to especially leader of this workshop, Mr. Anlendra Sarma, assistant director, Northeast region. Thank you very much, sir. I extend my thanks to team of International Day of Peace for their proactive and dedication in making this event uh, possible especially both the MC, Abhinya and uh, Subham and all team members. Thank you to all the members. The technical team for extending their support in hosting the webinar, especially Mr. Jeet from National Headquarter, IT Department, and Mr. Kapil from National Headquarter. Thank you very much. Finally, I would like to thank our wonderful participants for their active participation. Thank you one and all for joining us today's webinar. Let us spread the essence of our learning from today's. Once again, I extend my heartfelt thanks to everyone, everyone, especially all the messenger of peace who has joined today. Thank you everyone, thank you one and all. And yes, we will meet again tomorrow, four o'clock, 4 p.m. for next important session on SDG. Thank you, one and all. Sabhi ka bahut hi bahut dhanyavar, bahut shukriya aaj ke is webinar ko grand success banane ke liye. Thank you, Sabhi ka. Vedin Pavel said.
if you want to happy if you want to be happy make others happy thank you over to mc